I need to warn you, this video is not for the gardener who is faint of heart. So this is a geranium. It's actually a pot with four geranium plants in the pot. I want you to know that I have had this pot of geraniums for 15 years. So what I'm about to show you has worked for me for 15 years. When I bring this geranium in the house each year, and you can see it's loaded right now with buds that would be blooming, well, too bad. Because in order to bring it in the house and keep it alive for the winter, it's about to get a major haircut. And I mean a major haircut. This hurts me more than it does you little plant because we don't get to see any of these buds. You should try whenever possible to clip the stem above where a leaf has come out. You can see that. I'm just about finished with the clipping on these. Okay, so I pretty much clipped everything back. Now the second step is I'm gonna clean out all of the dead leaves. It's really important to clean out all this dead material because all sorts of insects have laid their eggs or potentially have laid their eggs on this dead leaf material. And so you're just bringing insects indoors when you don't clean this up. Now, I mean, you don't have to be absolutely pristine, but you do have to be as careful as you possibly can to get as many of these leaves as you can see. And if like I do every year, even though I swear I'm not going to do it the following year. I'm always playing beat the clock with the frost. So, some of you may have that bad habit as well. All right. I've gotten... Now, here, this whole thing here is dead. So we can get rid of that guy. And that guy. These are just dead things. Okay, and I thought I saw a dead thing over here. Okay, all right, so this is almost ready to go indoors. The last thing I do with the geranium before I send it inside, it's now fall, is I dust the surface of the soil with in this fashion with this product. I love this product. This is Bonide's Systemic Houseplant Insect Control. If you can't find it at your local garden center or your local Home Depot or Lowe's, you can get it off of our website, which is www.harvesting-history.com. But you'll have to pay shipping in order to get it from us, whereas it should be at least a little bit cheaper if you can purchase it locally. If not, please come to our website. We always have this product. I love it very much. Now, this product is going to last you on these plants until the first of the year. So around New Year's Day, just a little before or a little after, you are going to need to do a second application, just as we did the first, just dusting the surface of the soil. 
if you do this, you will not have any white flies, any scale, any mealy bug. Depending on the kind of spider mite you might get, this product may also defeat spider mites, but it doesn't defeat all the spider mites. So this is a 15 year old pot of geraniums. I do this every single fall and you can see because you remember what this plant looked like about five minutes ago it works beautifully this plant will come back and flourish and be just as good if not better in the spring from having taken care of it in this way in the fall it's now been 10 months since we made the first part of this video and what I wanted to do is show you how beautifully these geraniums come back even when you've given them a haircut like you watched me give this very pot a haircut 10 months ago. Look at it. It's just as beautiful as when we cut its hair 10 months ago. It flourishes. It's so easy to take care of in the winter time in your house. So this is what you do when you're gonna bring geraniums in for the winter. If you have enjoyed this video, please come to our website, www.harvesting-history.com, where you can purchase heirloom, non-GMO vegetables, flowers, and herbs. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends our channel. On the left side of your screen, there is our most recent video. And on the right side of your screen is one of our playlists. We are Harvesting History, Seeding the Future.